Hello guys, welcome to Fixtastic Content. So today we are going to discuss how to create PDF using a PDF and PHP. But before I even show you how, please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Okay guys, since you're going to use PHP, so we have to run our ZAMP server. Server, sorry. Make sure it's running. Mine is already running. Make sure the MySQL and Apache is running. Okay, I'm going to use Sublime Text. So I'm going to open it. And then in the drive C, I'm going to create another HT docs. Folder. I'm going to create a folder called can create a folder called PDF and PDF under Scott test. I'm going to store my files here. So I'm going to store everything here. Uh, my sublime text is opened. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to download the FPDF. You can just search it. FPDF, if I download. I want to download the latest version. Yeah. So this one is 2021. So I'm going to download the zip file. You can see it's downloading. So I'm going to paste it here. So the next, the next thing that I'm going to do and create a folder I'm going to extract the files so I'm going to name it FPDF okay, I'm going to move FPDF on it for inside and then I'm going to extract here Then maybe perhaps you can delete the, the zip file if you want. So uh, I have a folder where I have stored my FPDF extensions. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a PHP file. And maybe I'm going to name it it inside the same folder pdf underscore test and save it okay now i have the extension of pdf folder and then i have the index file so with this one so i'm going to open it in the browser the index Open with Microsoft Windows. Using a course. Doesn't have anything. That's why. Okay, I want us to start coding. I'm using the Sublime text. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the PHP tags. Then I'm going to have some crossing tags. So I'm going to write everything inside here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to call the FPDF. So we have it in a folder uh, called FPDF. Then I'm going to call the FPDF.php inside it. Maybe perhaps I can show you. This is what I want. FPDF.php. Okay, so it's fpdf.php So the next step I'm going to declare a class I refer to as a pdf I extend the fpdf Then I'm going to close the class 
below it I'm going to the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to define a variable called pdf which is equals to new declares the orientation which is portrait the sizes that I want to use the measurement I'm going to use millimeters and the next thing that I want to use I want to use an A4 we have different sizes so by this one I'm going to use the common one an A4 I'm going to close it the next thing that I want to do I want to do call some functions which is add page and output you must call them so that you can be able to run your PDF let me save this one and I'm going to run it and see So basically, we have been able to create a, an empty PDF using page PDF. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to input some details inside this PDF using cells, how you can be able to define the font size, color, how you can be able to create a table. So see you in the next video. Thank you.